And we're back. Some more RimWorld. And we're just starting up our newest base. We're going to have a few choices to make today, namely we've got this new Silent Neuroformer. It's to decide who becomes our next wizard. I mean, this is the Tribal Wizards playthrough, and the plan is we want everyone to become a level 6 wizard. And then we want to buy them all the possible spells we can, or whatever, Psy abilities. So I think, I suppose, well, start left to right, I suppose. Thumb's already got it. I think Index should be up next. We'll get them to use the Silent Neuroformer when they wake up in the morning. Then after we take care of this Ancient Danger, and maybe that one as well, We'll do a little bit of praying down at the tree down here, or whatever their avatar-style worship they do, and then we'll get a, a second link on them before we leave this area. That will bring us up to, well, level two, and I think we've got a couple of things here. Ah, yes, we've got skills artistic, a skill trainer artistic, a couple of those, and we've got a bunch of jade laying around the place. I'm thinking we're going to make a few more statues. And with two skill trainers for artistic, we can take Thumb from a level nine to... Actually, I have no idea what that'll take him up to, but it'll be pretty high. They should at least have... 12, maybe 15, and that might hammer out a couple of extant jade statues. Currently all we've got is, what, two good statues and one masterwork. A couple of excellents wouldn't hurt. I mean, do we need them? Not really, but we've got the tech, so we might as well use them. Change in plan. Um, this doesn't appear to be an ancient danger. Our people have gotten close to it, and we're not getting an ancient danger warning. I think I messed up. I think this may be the only ancient danger on the map. Um, oops. Yep, looks like we dug through the wrong area. Um, oh well. We'll seal that off and uh, actually we'll dig in from this side as well. We might as we, we might as well open up the space. It'll give us a little bit of a bigger building. Uh, that means we can maybe do a change in plan here. We're going to just have to lay the traps over there, so maybe mine some steel in that section. We do have the allow tool mod, which allows you to mine connected ores and do stuff like that, which makes it very handy for mining out areas. But uh, we'll let our miners get to work and get some steel for some traps over there. Time to get some things started. Uh, before we break open this tomb, there's just a couple of side projects that need work that have been going on for too long. One is Thumb here needs to learn the Stun Psycast. Just because they didn't have it already. Stun is a level 1 spell and it's just handy for stopping things in their tracks. Now the next thing they want to do is they want to learn Artistic. They're going to go from 9 to 13, which, yep, that's perfect. I have changed my mind on who gets the second one though. Instead of giving a, a double one to them, we're going to in, spread things out a little, little bit. I want Hawk to actually have a chance as well. Or, sorry, middle. Just in case anything goes wrong, it's be good to have a, a backup artist. And an artist with level 10, yeah, we can live with that. Currently, though, they're not going to be assigned to doing any uh, artistry. Then there's Index over here. Where do they go? Oh, they're off. Cut it. When you come back, what I want you to do is I want you to learn the stun side cast. You're level one, you can grab that as well. And that just gets rid of a whole bunch of wealth that was lying around. Well, actually not quite. That uh, skill learning there that we put on top of our pawn to improve our artistic, that has increased the value of the pawn. However, from last I checked, which, okay, was about a month ago, learning side casts does not increase the value of a pawn. So if we got thumb here and we piled another 15 side cast abilities on top of them, does not make them any more valuable. In fact, as far as I'm aware, I don't even think the Psylink makes them any more valuable. The difference in cost between a pawn with no Psylinks and no abilities versus one with all of them is zero. They're literally identical. So that's why we're going for this sort of tribal wizard playthrough. Now, let me do a few tidy ups and then we're going to go over here and start working on our next ancient danger. We might have left opening this one just to a little bit late in the day, but eh, say la vie. It was taking us too long to get through here and oh my God, come on, Index, it's a wall. You literally can't hit a wall. <laughs> uh, bugs. You know what? That's not so bad. All right, one second. I think they're tame, though. Ah, oh, great. Now we're going to have to go lure them out. Oh, yeah, we definitely got their attention. You know what? Let's get everyone out here. Why not? As long as we have enough firepower, they shouldn't be able to close the difference. Yeah, problem solved. That was... That was quick. Let's go clean this up and see. Actually, let's just open up those crypto sleep caskets. There's no point wasting waiting. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's try and capture this one alive, shall we? Uh, you know, let's get everyone to use their fists. She's wearing marine armor, so hopefully we can knock her out. I would like that to toxify her stomach if at all possible. Oh, she's she's escalated. Yep, she's taken out. What is that? Oh, elephant tusk. In that case, we might want to get a little bit more violent here. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Ring, you know what? Stick with the fists. This way we're hopefully doing blunt damage and we won't do anything, you know, too bad to them. 
damn it, middle. We were trying not to. Never mind. Uh, we'll tune this place out. Uh, what have you got, Blackjack? You have some armor. I don't even want to rip the armor skin to land out of that guy. It's not worth it. We'll just uh, deconstruct this place, grab the insect jelly, and get out of here. With this place stripped mined out, we can concentrate on two other things. One is going to be worshipping down at the tree, which I think someone is currently... We're planting some roses down there at the moment. Where is it? Ah, yes. We're going to plant some dailies down there so everyone doesn't go nuts from uh, the horrible surroundings. At the same time, Thumb here could do with a few upgrades. And by upgrades, I mean psychic sensitizer. Ah. It, it only is a flat upgrade, it seems, but they're still our best caster, so why not give it to them? While they're going to get anesthetized, we might as well do a, a little bit of an upgrade as well, so we have an Arcotech Eye on hand also. So, Arcotech Eye and a Psychic Sensitizer. And if we're going to go all that way, well, we might as well get them on the Lucy as well at the same time, because, well, why not? I mean, that's four people on Lucy. Yeah, this, this can only keep getting better. Uh, for the time being, we'll let them uh, hammer away at that marble or jade sculpture and we'll soon have even more people on jade in a bit and oh lucifer addiction wonderful why why are you taking a nap buddy no no ah yes that's supposed to be the medical bed my bad uh what yeah there you go that's our legendary medical bed that will make for an excellent uh, surgery location you have got to be kidding me surgery failed catastrophically index Index has a 99% medical surgery success chance. We have a massive multiplier from the alpaca wood bell roll. Surgery success chance is 130%. Like it, uh, we have a 98% chance of success in the operation. Only a 2% chance of failure, no matter what. And mm, even with that 2% chance of failure, I think like 1 in 6 might fail catastrophically. The odds of... Mm, never mind. Never mind. This will be fine. They're not dead. They're just a trauma savant. Great, I don't think we can even fix that with Lucy. That's just permanent. Is that going to murder their marriage? I think that ends their marriage, does it? Uh, because they literally can't talk anymore. Where is it? Uh, oh, God, there's so many problems with them right now. They have a mangled scar on their brain. Oh, God. Oh, well, affects social interactions. I don't think they're going to be in able to interact with anyone socially anymore. That's going to be a problem. Well, they still seem to be married. Uh, it won't be a problem when they wake up. Uh, well, they, they got the Arcotech Eye in at least, so we didn't use the Arcotech Eye, we just lost the Psychic Sensitizer. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, Randy, why did you do that? That's just mean. Uh, well, once they recover, we'll get them back onto doing some of those Jade Sculptures. Though I suppose the Trauma Savant will make them better at it, I believe that, that ups their manipulation. Well, damn it, damn it, damn it. To make up for turning one of our pawns into a trauma savant, uh, Randy's decided to give us a weapons trader, which, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, let's see. Seek and you shall find. Randy's decided to gift us with a doomsday rocket launcher. Perfect. Picked up a couple of medicine. I've decided to sell off the stone skinned land. I keep seeing them about the place and I was kind of holding out until we got some beautification for our pawns so that they could handle that and the stone skinned land. I just, mm, I'm not really seeing a point. We've got the marine armor. Let's just leave it as it is. With all of that, we now have another Doomsday to protect us. I am very happy with that. I was getting a little bit worried having only one Doomsday. It's always nice to have a backup. Hey, uh, let's finish up with our meditation, get our Psy level for Index, and then move on. While well, we were busy trying to meditate at our tree down here, um, and get Thumb back on their feet, they seem to have an awful lot of scars inside their brain. Uh, scratch scar, mangle scar, scratch scar aching, scratch scar by two, stab scar by three, cut scar... How can they have that many scars on their brain and still be mobile? I have no idea. It's going to take the uh, the Luciferium, like, years, literally, to cure all of those one at a time. Anyway, we have an infestation over here. Bunch of giant insects are going to spawn. Now, I am super curious to see what happens here. We may have a bit of a problem, though. If they spawn and trigger our traps, that might make them aggressive towards us. Mm, or maybe not. We'll find out. Plus, we do have a bunch of traders here, which could help out in case this just goes sideways. And wow, that is a lot. Of, oh god that yeah that's a huge amount wow 40 mega spiders you know what i think we're just gonna leave i don't see any reason to face that there is nothing worthwhile true we can get a whole bunch of insect jelly but i don't need that oh yep yeah, they hit the traps now they're angry um hmm it might be time to hide oh god let me think for a minute we are going to bring the animals back inside, and we're going to go with a good old choke point defense. Uh, except for the donkeys, why are they not moving? All right, there go the donkeys. Now, if we're going to do the choke point here, we're going to toss grenades at the door. We're going to want to make sure our walls are complete to there. You, come on, 
Come on, middle. What are you doing? <laughs> faster, faster. The bugs are coming. Now, they might lose interest before they get here. If they do, that's great. If they don't, well, we're going to have to grenade them out of existence. Oh, they've changed their mind. They've, they've run away. That's fine. Until one of them runs over another trap, probably. No, I think they've got all the traps. Perfect. We're just going to stay away from them. I see no reason to mess with them. In fact, uh, yeah, there's some wooden stools here. I think we're going to select those and say no one is allowed to come pick those up. Just no one. No one's allowed. Also, all the steel here, no one's allowed. In fact, everything here, no one's allowed to come near it. I don't want anyone coming back here for any dumb reason. Otherwise, I'll turn around in five minutes and someone will have wandered into the middle of that and got themselves killed. So, a minor problem. The bugs just keep aggroing to us for no reason. All the traps are gone. They just seem to want to keep coming. They stopped and hummed and hawed a bit, but now I think they're fully committed. Uh, we're bringing everyone back inside. We're sealing everything up and we're getting our defensive people in position. Uh... Yep, we've got Pinky there. Yep, here they come. Damn it. Okay, you need to put that right about there. Everyone else is on their way back. Thumb, I'm afraid. Yeah, no more resting for you, buddy. Brain injury or not, you're straight up front. Okay, this... Yeah, this is probably not going to go well. There's there's a lot of them. How many bugs are we looking at here? We're looking at 39 mega spiders. 26 stellipedes and 25 mega scarabs. Now, on the bright side, I have done a tutorial on how to deal with bugs, so if I die, this will be really, really embarrassing. Though, in my defense, last time I didn't have a bunch of our pawns out on the map. Um, yeah, who are you and what are you doing there? Never mind, but I'm bringing everyone back, and I'm trying to bring them back in the rear door, so hopefully they don't get mauled by the stellipedes, by the insects. So far, we only have three people and a bunch of animals to keep us safe. In the middle. Nope, oh, nope. Get over there. They keep trying to shoot you our own people. Yeah, we're going to lose some alpacas in this. Oh god, those grenades that we're doing just the god's work. Look at that. The amount of them that died before they get in the door. Oh. Death alpaca 35. Kind of to be expected. Jesus. Another 35 mega spiders coming in. Oh no, they're going to kill the cook thing. Whatever. Just so long as they don't kill any of our people, I don't mind. Oh. I need to get my hands on more grenades. They're just making a mess of this place. Index at last. Where have you been, buddy? We'll put index right there. Oh my god, that just looks wrong. If any of these sidewalls go, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Come on, just die, you just bastards. That just is not something you want to go out the front door and see in the morning. Thank god for alpacas. Downside there, a couple of our walls have gone. That's going to make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, you need to go over there. Yeah, we, we want them to get tied up fighting our animals. Okay. I think... I think we got them. Right. Okay, our walls are broken, so immediately all our stuff in here is degrading, so we're going to have to replace those. But that could have went an awful lot worse. I mean, we could all be dead. Right, let me start the, uh, the cleaning up process, though. I suppose now we can go get ourselves some insect, insect jelly. There's a lot of insect jelly over in there. I think we're going to clean this up, grab the insect jelly, and then just get out of town. There's, there's no point hanging around. I would really have liked to get some more worship done at the tree, but we're only up to two anima grass. And considering the mess this has caused, yeah, we should leave now. By the time all of that was over, Chief hadn't even made it back to the base yet. Dear Lord, Chief, you lazy so-and-so. All right, let's get the walls repaired, though, before everyone starts getting nasty bonuses. Well, just starts losing their room bonuses. Uh, yeah, prioritize working on all of that, would you please? It's actually kind of nice to see the barracks' impressiveness go up in real time as they clean up all the blood, move all the corpses, repair the walls. Like, we've gone from 90 to 111 now, and it should just keep going up as they keep cleaning up and removing everything that's causing the messes. Just so nice. Time to pack up and get out of here. The smell of corpses from all of these dead bugs is going to get really ripe in a short while. Plus, we need to get out of here. Once we've packed everything up, we can go join the other caravan that's over here, Index's caravan. And I think, I think we're keeping the insect jelly. Yeah, I'll get more into that later. Just let me uh, finish this up here. Oh, before we go, I'm sure there's going to be some questions as to why we didn't take these uh, glow pods with us. Oh, they weigh four kilos. Four kilos for a light... Not worth it. We can build them out of wood when we're, wherever we stop. So it's just not worth bringing them. That question, I just know it's going to come up in the comments. One more colony left behind. We truly, I, I truly feel like we've achieved tribal nomadic at this point. 
Uh, let's get moving. When is this place going to restock again so we can hopefully buy more? 5.8 days. I think we can do a quick stop. Now, I did say we were going to keep the insect jelly. The reasoning behind that is, well, it, it basically doesn't go off. It can nourish almost any creature, as in, I think as far as I can tell, 0 0.5 nutrition per point. If we check pemmican here, it's 0 0.5 nutrition per point as well, meaning it's just as nutritious as pemmican, but it never goes off. At the same time, it also provides a recreation, chemical recreation. So it improves their recreation and it doesn't go off at all. It's basically super pemmican. True, it's also an awful lot more expensive. When I say expensive, it's $8 for this stuff as opposed to like the 140 of uh, pemmican. Yeah, so it's, it's super duper expensive. But if we need to go on a long journey or just keep, well, effectively pemmican around for eternity, we can just use the insect jelly. Why not? We'll give it a go anyway. I mean, it seems just too good to take up, ah, pass up at this point. Oh, almost forgot to abandon our old settlement. We don't need it anymore. It's just once we've abandoned the settlement, I think we're more likely to get quests that are map quests as opposed to, or, you know, world quests as opposed to ones that are located inside our zone. Uh, let's move over here and there is an eclipse. Uh, yep, yeah. now this is a global eclipse, so anywhere I settle will be eclipsed. Even though we can brightly see the sunshine out here, the moment we settle on a map, it'll be all dark. It, it gets confusing sometimes with this map stuff. Uh, I think it, nah, it's 3 p.m. We'll wait here until morning. What well, first thing in the morning, we'll, oh, add everyone's out of food. Yeah, I, what I'd like to do is I set the restrictions here so that everyone consumes the simple meals first. Once the simple meals are all consumed, what we can do is go in here, go into the health of the colony, go to lavish meals, manage food restrictions, and then we just go straight into lavish here, and then we can select them to use pemmican. You know what, we'll let them eat the pemmican for now because we're trying to get rid of it. But we could also select insect jelly, and then they'll just chow down on that. So if we go back to items here and watch the pemmican, yep, they just chowed down on a bunch of that to keep them going. Once it hits morning, though, we're going to settle in this new tile and see what uh, what Randy has in store for us. We have moved into a new area and we're going to settle right in the middle. This is going to be a bit odd. Normally we settle right up tight against uh, an ancient danger, but there's one right over here, one right over there. If we settle in the middle here, this will also put us right beside the tree. Uh, also, if anyone knows of a way to easily find the anima tree, please let me know. It's just... I usually spend about... I, I searched this map for about 10 minutes trying to find it. I think I'm, I'm just blind to them. When you zoom out a bit and you're moving around the map, they're they're just, you don't notice them quite as easily. It's not a big deal if you're only on one map for the whole game, but when you switch maps every, you know, 20 minutes, it, it starts to become problematic. And today is a good day. Royal Tribute Collector has shown up. We can buy favour with gold. And uh, this has been mentioned in the comments, why don't I just buy favour for Chief? That seems like a far simpler idea. Unfortunately, I did sort of sell off a whole bunch of gold after I found this out, so my bad, my bad, but it's not the worst. Maybe we can actually find some additional gold on this map to add to our stockpile before we trade with this guy. Chief is on their way back to bed. Let's do a quick trade with these fellas and see what they're willing to give us for all of this gold. They will give us two honor. Oh, wow, that's not a lot for the amount of gold. Yeah, I suppose this is what we're going to do. Freeholder title gained for Chief. Okay. Uh, right. I would really like to get into... Uh, I would really like to get in here and see if we could capture some prisoners for them, but yeah, we didn't have time. If they had to came at a later date, that might have been possible. But it was just a little bit too early into our colony to risk it. Well, they'll be around again later, and we'll, we'll definitely get quests in other ways of levelling up Chief. Though, for the time being, yeah, they've just got Freeholder, which means it's not really worth anything. We need to get them up to Yeoman before they even get a side level out of them, which will hopefully be soon enough. What I'm trying to do here is get everyone good at some basics. The basics being, I want them to get about to level 5 to 8 in mining, 5 to 8 in construction, and just those two skills, oh, and about 5 to 8 in plants as well. Getting that for everyone would make them just useful all around the moment we set up a colony. We really want to just, we're trying to do speed is more importantly. We want to move from place to place as quickly as possible because Randy's always sitting in the background and the clock is always ticking up on how much danger we're going to face every new raid. So we want to level up as fast as possible and get our people up to, well, just tougher. Some tribal traders have shown up and this is interesting. They appear to have boomalopes. And if they're for sale, which there are, we are definitely picking up one of those. Some of that uh, chem fuel will be handy for refueling some of our devices that I haven't been using too much because I was worried about running out of chem fuel. I like that our little crew has everything they need all in this one room. They're, they're sort of like a one big happy family. 
quest, shelter for friends. Oh, God, please don't tell me I have to keep them for a long period of time. That would be useless. Nope, this is completely pointless. It would get its goodwill with the faction we already have 92 goodwill with. For its some advanced components or hyper... Yep, just, no. No, you know what, I am... Just, sorry, Randy, but no. Just, just go away with that one. You're teasing me. All right, uh, tomorrow I think we're going to haul these rocks over there to seal in that section. Uh, we've also got a bunch of traps built over here at our second Ancient Danger. I think tomorrow we're going to be ready to start crap. We'll try and do maybe two at once. Why not? Time to open up our first tomb of the day. And it's bugs. Actually, that's that's great. In that case, we'll get... Oh, actually, this is... It's terrible weather for shooting, but we'll get everyone down here. And... What you doing? Oh, wow, they're just going to attack the walls? Well, that's what it's in there anyway. Psychic animal pulsers, great, and a few crypto sleep caskets. We'll go in and uh, draw their attention. Ring took a few hits in that fight because I got sloppy. I got to stop being so sloppy. Uh, Thumb is now currently going on a food binge, namely because they're, uh... Actually, they're not even a gourmand. Why are they going on a food binge? Oh, their mood's actually too low. Damn it. It's also a bit annoying that they have so many scars. Each one of those scars will need to be healed by Luciferium, and it's a mean time of 15 days between scars, so there's about two years' worth of scars on one person. I think we should rename them. I originally called them Twiddle because they left us twiddling our thumbs one day while, they were, while we were trying to get a caravan together. How about Thumb the Scarred? That seems like a good one. Oh, and Pinky, there was a wonderful suggestion for them. They, uh, at one point, used their jump jet pack to fly into combat wielding a hammer. So, say hello to Pinky Thor. So we've got Pinky Thor and Tom Scar. Right, Tom the Scarred. All right, let's clean this mess up and uh, actually, ooh, we should probably open those ancient crypto sleep caskets. I think I'll call in the reinforcements of Pinky. Yeah, I'll call in Pinky and we'll uh, get this sorted. And we'll open these up and see what's inside. Uh, should we kill these first? You know, 2.7 days, 2.3. Nah, we got time. Uh, let's see what kind of prezzies we've got to work with today. Mm. Nothing too crazy here. I think we're just going to shoot the two people leaving and be dumb with and oh my god, why would she deploy that? You monster. Oh, maybe it's because we were shooting at her crypto casket. Yeah, they're not going to get very far. Ah! Mega Scarab Revenge. Oh, come on guys. She's right there. I really should work on people's uh, accuracy. Shooting 9, shooting 6, shooting 13. Oh, well, I suppose it is in the rain. Alright, we'll strip these out. Dismantle this stuff and drag everything back to base, and tomorrow we'll go take care of the second uh, ancient danger. Oh, something that came up in the last episode. Ah, yes, that was it. These steel sarcophagus, you can actually store non-colonists in them. You just have to go in here and allow strangers. And if we do that, we can copy the settings across to all of these, and we can start hiding all these corpses immediately before they become a problem for our people. We were in the middle of prepping this area for some uh, good old tree praying, or whatever that you want to call it. And we've got a Wanderer Joins. A digger named Kaelin. Kaelin? Kaelin has joined the colony. She is willing to contribute, but will not leave voluntarily. While there's a few ways around this, what we can do is we can just imprison her, uh, arrest her, put her in a prison, but leave the door open, and she'll run away, and that will get rid of her without actually giving us any debuffs. Uh, at the same time, she's not actually that bad. Undergrounder, great memory, beautiful. Okay, the undergrounder's not great, you know, especially considering our style, but as a hideaway, she has natural meditation focus, which, and morbid, so she can pray at trees and graves. She'll actually fit right in. Also, a female. Um, mining is good. We don't care about cooking. We have four cooks already. Artistic, we've already got two of those. Zero shooting. I don't know. I think we'll keep her for now. We'll see what people think, but I think she could work out. We've definitely got... Yeah, we've definitely got... Uh, yeah, we've got enough armor and weapons and everything. We can chuck, her, chuck them onto her, and she should be good. We'll check her all the way to the end, though we do have to come up with a name for her. Something, hmm, appropriate. For example, Chief here does not really have a, a moniker fitting of the team, so... Chief the Palm? Hmm, Chief Palm? Yeah, Chief Palm will do. So, Caitlin what? Knuckles? Knuckles? Uh, I don't know. Uh, there, there's a few things we go with. Wrist? Elbow? Uh, I'm not even sure at this point. Anyway, uh, we'll finish this off. Caitlin is now on the team. How are they looking? Uh, you know what? Let's maybe assign you one to do the proper strategies. You can stick on the social drug plan. Eh, perfect. I think they'll work out quite good. Now, um... Yeah, once all this should be all planted by morning. Once it is, we'll go and take care of the second ancient danger. And now for our third tube of the day. Let's see what's in store, shall we? Oh, wait, no, no, no. That almost got me. 
Yeah, it almost got me. I'm getting sloppy again. Take that from an angle. Stream angle, just in case it's not bugs. Ah, it's not bugs. Run. Run. Run, 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 run. Oh, that guy's about to shoot. Run. Perfect. Now, that pikeman should have to run forward. Come on, buddy. Yeah, no, you want to. And what do we got in here while we're waiting? Ooh, skill trainer shooting. Oh, come on. You're taking the path of least resistance or the most resistance? That's just annoying. And okay, that just... Nope, nope, nope. They're looking at you. Stop that. Hey, where do we put Pinky? Pinky, time for you to do your Thor impression. They whip out the hammer and they wait till that thing moves. We want it moving because if it if it's not moving, it will immediately lock on and start shooting, which would be bad. Now it starts moving forward and while it starts moving forward, we get to about there. Boop. <laughs> Damn it, didn't land quite on top of it, which would have been nice. And that was a whole waste. Oh, pity, 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 pity. Never mind. It looks cool. Now, we do have a shooting trainer. Our weakest shooter is Kayan, and the lower the level someone is, the worse they are. Well, at the lower levels, it makes a huge difference. So I think what we're going to do is immediately get Kayan into chug that down. Uh, but first, we're going to open these up. We're going to see what's in these ancient crypto sleep caskets. We'll get Pinky to take a pot shot at the end one. Yep, there's no one in that one, it seems. Can you hit that? All right, perfect. We'll shoot that one then. Whoa, those two seem really motivated and super healthy. Learning assistant. Ooh, damn. Thank God you've got a backpack on. Let's see if they're worth zapping. No, they're not. They've got pretty standard equipment. It's all normal. And their health is... One of them has a learning assistant. Don't really care about it. We're just going to leg it out of here. And if we can fight them around the corner, that's fine. What are you going to do? Oh, you're going to run straight into that. That's... Well... That bow neatly tied itself. All right, we'll clean this place up, finish off our uh, our tree worship or avatar style, and then we can level up uh, index to their next level. Yeah, this actually went very cleanly. I just realized we haven't committed to keeping Kane yet. Maybe giving them the skill trainer is a bad idea, but I can't really see any downsides to keeping them. They look solid. They're 100% across the board. The undergrounder thing is going to be a bit of a negative, but great memory? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we're keeping them. Use the skill trainer to learn shooting, buddy. Uh, also, we're dumping all of the corpses into the sarcophagi you find around the place. It's actually really handy. And that takes them straight up to level 5 shooting. Okay, they went from being useless to mildly less useless. Uh, let's take demolish, demolish this place and haul everything home. You, what are you doing? Deconstruct that. And deconstruct that as well. Boom. Plenty of resources. All right, let's get our avatar tree worship down. We're up to 10 anima grass, just 10 more to go, and we can grab another level. While we're waiting for this to happen, we picked up a few rhinos for food, and as well as that, we've got a bulk goods trader. Hopefully they can... You know what? We could probably sell them a bunch of steel that we've got lying about the place that we're never going to have a use for. Let's see what they've got on offer. By selling them over 1,200 steel we just have lying around the place, we can pick up 40 chem fuel and steel clean out all their cash. Why not? Seems like a good deal to me. And Chief, when you're done, you're probably going to want to go back out there and pick all that stuff up and return it home. All right. Uh, yeah, back to the tree worship. That was it. Finally, we have enough anima grass. Oh, yeah. Once Index has gotten their level, we're out of here. There's no point sticking around anymore. We've strip mined this place bare. I was going to get around to doing with some jade statues, but then completely blanked it. Next time. Next time. Index has now been gifted with water skip, meaning they can put out some fires. Eh, okay, it might come in useful in the future. But for now, time to let everyone get a good night's sleep. And then first thing in the morning, we're out of here. Time we headed over and get a little bit of trading done. Hopefully they've got something we want, like doomsdays, bionics, good stomachs, that kind of stuff. And another colony bites the dust. This one was not as profitable as the last few, but we did get that shooter trainer and the new colonist. So I can't really complain. This has actually been going rather well. And with only the insectoid hive to fight. Though... This giant jade meteorite landed just as we were leaving, and I was like, no, I would really have loved to stop and harvest that, but, uh, no. The nomad life, it, it's, it's difficult at times. Welcome to a rather large trade. We bought a side two skip side trainers that allow our people to teleport. One focus side trainer, two word of trust side traders, one, two skill trainers for our animals, uh, three beer, a charge rifle, and a bunch of gold. And some medicine, and sold off... 9,400 silver worth of materials. Because, of course we did. That's 
That's kind of mental. Right. So, with that done, I suppose we head back down the other direction. How long until this place is ready to trade again? I really would prefer a third trading partner, and that would make... That would be perfect if we get our, our knight or dame level up. But it's just there's no really good spots in this sort of Goldilocks zone that we can trade with just yet. Our new place is going to be right beside a river. Fairly simple looking map. We are going to set up a colony right in here. This will be our temporary campgrounds. There's an ancient danger that looks like right here. And there's the anima tree right there. So it'll be nice and close by so we can get another level on index. The second ancient danger looks to be down here, which is actually reasonably close by, though I'm not sure if it is an ancient danger or if that's just an addition. It, it could be. We'll find out later. Uh, for the time being, let's jump to chop some trees and get ourselves a little base built in here. And it was looking like such a lovely morning. We have a bunch of traps ready to go for this ancient danger. We have a bunch of traps ready to go for this ancient danger. All right, true. Um, one of our people went on a fire starting spree. We fixed that. Uh, Luciferium addiction for one of our donkeys. We turned them into meals. Mega slot revenge. A quest for one of the tribes we don't care about. Ancient danger detected. Fire starting spree for middle. That was two fire starting sprees we had to deal with. That was annoying. But now it's a raid. A raid from the mech hive. Uh, the untun... Mechs. Mechs are dropping. And from what I can see, they're going to drop right here. We're pulling everyone back inside. Our animals are going to stick over here. Everyone else goes into here. And index is going to be bait. Now, what I want to do is activate an animal pulsar, but we've got a problem. It's the middle of the night. It's only, well, it's 4 a.m. in the morning, so most of the animals are not awake yet. Let me find an animal. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Yep, they're asleep. So because the animals are asleep, an animal pulsar is not going to do anything. We need to keep them outside of our base. If they hammer on the walls, we'll be depending on Thumb and their uh, ability to cause them to go berserk. Now, come on, come on, come on. Everyone, move, 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 move. Okay, go, 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 go. Index. Yeah, get around the corner. Your job is to draw them in and... Wait a minute. That's like eight scythers. Oh, well, probably nine. That's... Weird. I was expecting a lot more for some reason. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's just the last few raids have been a little bit chunkier than this one. But this one feels... It, it feels like Randy was just like throwing a playful slap going, Here, here, just have a little bit of that. Okay. Door closed. Okay. Now, what's the speed on these suckers? Uh, it's 4.7. Index, though, is zippy as all hell. 5.5. Reason being, we've got them in recon armor. So it doesn't slow them down. It's also, well... Mm, you know what? I'm going to cover something on the side. When it comes to these tombs, what I've discovered after opening quite a few of them, probably more than I've ever opened ever before, you will get a lot of normal marine and normal recon armors. But occasionally you'll get good recon and good marine armor. They're a lot more uncommon, but you can find them. That's why we say we've got Thumb here has good marine armor, Index has good recon armor, and I'm pretty sure we've got one more good recon armor. Normal, normal, marine armor, normal, recon armor, good. Good recon armor is the equivalent of normal marine armor, just uh, armor-wise, so that actually works out really well for us. Now that, no one's that out. We're going to lock all those doors. Let's start. Tom, what are you doing? Nobody, nobody. No, no one's allowed out. Index is going to basically sit over here and he's going to draw them out of, the, out of there. Come on. Come on. Look over here. Look over here. Oh god. Uh, middle, you need to repair that door. Uh, prioritize. Cannot. Oh, wait. Yeah, they've noticed Index. Uh, index, run. They're going to come for you. Uh, now, did anyone repair the door? No, they did not. I think they can't do it because uh, it's set to x but if I get rid of that, they might try running out the door. Small change there. We uh, basically did up a little zone that's inside here. That way they should be able to repair that door, just in case any of them come knocking. Index's job, to play Ring Around a Rosie. He plays Ring Around the Rosie, keeps the Scythers busy. When the Scythers... Oh, come on. Then we wait until the animals wake up. Once the animals are awake, we uh, arrange for him to run back into the building just as we activate the psy Psychic Animal Pulsar and the Scythers all get to face off against a whole bunch of angry animals. We stay inside until all the Scythers are dead. Seems like a reasonable plan. Uh, you need to go oh, this direction, I suppose? Yeah. Uh, so ring around the rosy it is, and while we're waiting, let's let everyone uh, maybe catch up on a few things. In fact, we could get them to clean up the floors and uh, smooth out some things. One second. There we go. That'll give them all something to do when they wake up. Or to the ones that are already awake as well. We've got plenty of meals. And where are the rest of them? Yeah, I think that's all of them. 
Yep, let me just do some ring around the rosy and I'll uh, come to cut it back in once the animals are ready to go nuts. Well, all the animals appear to be awake. Index is on their way back in. And ring, I'm going to want you to, yeah, activate that. Okay. Now, if we've done that right, all the animals, oh, wow. Look at that map in the top right. Everything just went red. Well, that should give them something to attack. Uh, index, you can... Well, good job. Having a really fast pawn is wonderful. Something to do with having lots of Luciferium, being a jogger, and uh, just generally giving them good armor. Now let's, uh, let's see what happens to our four friends outside. Ooh, we're going to have a lot of meat after this, aren't we? While we wait for the animals outside to fall asleep and calm down. Dear Lord, that is the best defensive force I've had. <laughs> we have so many of those left. How many have we got? We have eight. No, that can't be right. We can't have eight, can we? Get out of the way, humans. Seven. We have se seven animal pulsers left. Those things are so handy. We, we just got to stay on a map with lots of animals and we can just summon, you know, the power of ten tigers whenever we want. While we wait inside, there's a few administrative things that need to be taken care of. Thumb here is... Well, pretty beastly in terms of skills, but there's a few others we can get them. For example, the skip side cast. Now, they can teleport. That makes them doubly dangerous. So they can teleport and they can use Berserk Pulse. Oh, we would also like to get them some invisibility as well, which would be really nice. And how's their health going? Yep, still lots of scars. I've decided the scarred is not quite accurate, so I think a better one would be the calloused. Thumb the calloused, because he's calloused in the brain. <laughs> He's seen a lot of things, okay? Now what else did we have? Oh yes, word of trust. We can also give you one of those. The moment you're finished smoothing out that piece of floor. Uh, I've got Kay in here doing the planting. I want them to get up and skill in it. And why are you smoothing floors, Chief? I want you prioritizing sowing. I want the two of them to get up to about level four or level five in plants at least, just so that they're... The lower levels are easier to get, so we'll get them into those as quickly as possible. Now, Word of Trust here is... where is it? Word of Trust is actually a level one spell. That means Index can get in on this as well. I'm pretty sure we've got a, a second one. Where is it? Uh, nope, wrong one. Dear Lord, we have so many. There it is. So, Index, I would like you to get Word of Trust as well. And what else is this one we have? Focus. Well, Tom, that's your next one. You're going to get Focus as well. We also have a few skill trainers here for animals. Pinky and Chief are the ones who uh, need it the most. So Pinky and Chief, where is it? No, it's the wrong one. Which one is for animals? God damn it. Ah, there we go. So Pinky and Chief can get both of those. That should take care of a bunch of that. Oh, and we've got a, a second skip for whenever Index gets to a high enough level to utilize it. And I think that covers most of the little administration details. 11 o'clock the next day, our... our Apartment is looking wonderful, or whatever you want to call it. Our little uh, communal living space is looking extremely impressive. Well, it was like that already, but now we've got a bunch of smooth floors and everyone's got lots more construction experience. Plant-wise, not so great. It's still it's exceedingly slow for people with no skill at planting to gain it, but slowly but surely they'll gain up there. We trying to want to get them all up to level 8, and we want to get them all nuclear stomachs, but that's for the future. For now, I think all of these are mostly calmed down. There's one or two Madden Manhunters left, but we don't care. We've got enough people that we can handle it. So instead, we're going to go out there and start fixing this place up again. Time to open up this ancient danger. We're going to get uh, Index and Middle here to soften it up a bit, though I think we'll let Index do the final blow. Namely because Middle's maybe a little bit slower than Index at getting away. Alright. How are we doing? 3.2. Perfect. What do we face? Ah, oh, centipedes, of course. It's been a while since I faced one of those. Skill Trainer Intellectual. That is actually useless to us. <laughs> We're actively trying to avoid people getting smarter because that just makes them more valuable for absolutely zero return. And oh no, they're, they're not even ones that want to get angry with us. I think we'll use some of uh, Thumb's special abilities to lure them out. That might be a plan. All right, I think I figured it out. We're running by and this is going to be a drive-by with Thumb where they're gonna go... Boop. Ah. And then we're going to have the rest of these come over here to get in some shooting on them. Yeah, that actually kind of works. Oh, wait, what's his... Yeah, they've got a Zeus hammer on them, don't they? Which means if we pull them back just a bit so that they can't get shot by that centipede, they can switch over to their Zeus hammer. Perfect. Oh, they may not be completely safe. May not be completely safe. 
Hmm. Let me think. You know what? I think we'll pull thumb back. That actually worked out wonderfully. What did they get? A bruise from a needle gun. That is fine. Okay. So we pull out the centipede now, do the same thing, except this time we gang up on it with everyone. Yeah, I like the sound of that. One more skip, please. Oh, can't hit him. You know what? We'll, we'll pull back just a little bit. Centipede can lose focus, and we'll come back in in a second. All right, we've got the centipede tagged with a skip. No, damn it, we can't get him to there, but we can get them to there. Righto. Everyone in on the action, please. <laughs> Everyone, I want you to melee attack that Muppet. Yep, and it's going to get stunned because we have stun hammers. Oh, that thing's starting to fire at us. Do we have another skip on board? Oh, damn it, we can't hit him. You know what? It's fine, it's fine. We can just do a wall raise while we're waiting. Come on, come on, give us a wall raise. There we go. Now it can't shoot at us. Eh. That worked out perfectly. Now all we've got to do is go in is take care of that. That was actually quite nice. I, I like this method of murdering things. It's finally time to finish this off. We, we did a little bit of a door replace here so we can just run in. We could have done a deconstruct, but you know what? I'd like to keep my room bonus. Eh, uh, who's got a good hammer to go smash this guy in the face with? Well, Index is our sprinter, so we're going to send Index in to run them run them down and hit them in the face. Uh, behind them we'll have the door open and we'll just have the other three go in after them. It should be a fairly straightforward job. Oh, uh, maybe make sure they all have using their guns, their close combat weapons first. Ho oh. ho ho. Yeah, that was just too easy. Okay, let's get the rest of them in here and finish off these caskets. I don't know if we want to be in here or we want to be outside. We're going to do this nice and quick. We're going to have a bunch of close combat people waiting outside the crypto caskets the moment we open them. Uh, middle, go open that one. Then we should be able to just beat them down really quickly. I just want to simplify things today. Okay, one of them's up and running. Middle, no, no, use your melee. Perfect, I think that worked out really great. Now, ah, let's see what's worth stealing here. Okay, we just gotta kill Fritz here, which should only take a second. Uh, we've also stripped off all the people in the surrounding area. You go smack that one in the face, and you go smack that one in the face. Boom, problem solved. All right, best news that we've got so far is there's someone lying on the ground here who has a nuclear stomach. We've been looking for one of those. In fact, we've been looking for, oh God, we need a lot more, don't we? We've just hired more colonists. Yeah, I'm gonna call this a good day. Uh, I. I'm going to do a bunch of side work, but I think we'll call that a, an episode there. We're going to rip that stomach out of them, put them in one of our colonists. We've, we're up to too many colonists now, three, six, seven colonists. I think we might even get one more. If we get another female who also has a natural, natural focus and is pretty decent, we'll add them to the crew. And then hopefully we can pair them all off. As it is, good run today. Getting ever a little bit closer to turning these guys into absolute monsters. Like, look at the amount of special abilities Thumb has. Index... I think Index is only a level 2 or level 3 Psy Focus. Level 2 Psy Focus and they've already got a bunch of spells. Everyone's going to end up a pretty decent monster in terms of skills. Construction, mining and plants are what we're going to try and focus on to get them really good at all those. Oh, and mining as well. And we should be able to go in, strip out whole maps and just have fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck. Thank you.